The UN Committee on the Elimination of Racial Discrimination held its 88th session at the Palais Wilson in Geneva to review anti-discrimination efforts undertaken by member states. The Holy See delegation presented its 16th to 23rd combined periodic report to the committee. They highlighted new supplementary norms of the Vatican City State declared by Pope Francis in 2013 against racial discrimination. The legislation includes punishment of five to ten years for those guilty of such crimes. Archbishop Tomasi drew attention to several aspects that are usually not very known, such as the important distinction between the Holy See, the Catholic Church and the Vatican City State. The Holy See is the government of the Catholic Church. The state is the tiny territory of the Vatican. And the Catholic Church is the community of all those who are baptized and believe in the doctrines of the Catholic Church. Another little known fact is that over 50 million young people, the majority of whom are not Catholic, are educated in Catholic schools around the world. Archbishop Tomasi emphasized that through its schools and the well over 100,000 healthcare related facilities worldwide, the Catholic Church for centuries has promoted the right of everyone. This is a testimony, is a witness of how the Catholic community really reaches out to the needs of people without taking into account accidents of race or birth or nationality or ethnic identity. During the convention, the Archbishop of Atlanta took the opportunity to submit his report to the committee. The report complains about discriminatory education funding practices in the United States, prohibiting parents from sending their children to the schools of their choice, including Catholic schools. Even though Catholic schools in the United States have a stellar record of the quality of education that they provide for children, especially children who may come from uh, a disadvantaged or a, a financially uh, distressed family background, uh, what the Catholic Church and our schools do, and do very well, is educate children and prepare them for life, prepare them for successful membership in society, and we do that uh, with the, the highest standards. Uh, the graduation rates of Catholic schools are exceptional. In his statement to the Committee on the Elimination of Racial Discrimination, Archbishop Gregory stressed that the so-called Blaine Amendments violate the basic human right to school choice. And, and we believe that the United Nations has a right and an obligation to look into those circumstances in the United States where there are laws that prohibit free parental choice. The committee meetings this year marked the 50th anniversary of the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Racial Discrimination. All states' parties are obliged to submit every two years regular reports on how the rights are being implemented.